All right. Welcome to my first Blender tutorial. Go ahead and open up Blender, and you'll see this. Blender 2.45 is what I'm using, which you can get at www.blender.org. All right. Here we go. This is our default scene, and right now, whether you know it or not, you're viewing three different windows. Each window, this main one being one of them, is a 3D viewport window, has a header, which is this little line right here. So does this one right here, which is uh, called the buttons window, and so does this one up here, although you can only see the header right now. If I go ahead and open this up by using the left mouse button when the double arrows are present and pull down, I will see my option control box. All right, I'm going to go ahead and talk about that later. One thing I do want to change right now, I'll take that back, is I want to turn on view name so you can see what viewport I'm in. So I'm going to go ahead and go and close that back up. And here we are. And by default, this is what your Blender experience will be like. I'm going to go ahead and just move this view just a little bit, just so you know what I'm doing, so I'm not doing anything without telling you. I'm holding down the Shift button and the middle mouse button, and I'm just pulling it up so you can see everything that's in the view right now. I have a cube selected, which in case I wasn't 100% sure, because it looks kind of like a plane right now, it tells you right here it's a cube. To select any item in my scene, I want to go ahead and press the right mouse button. Not the left, the right mouse button. So now I have a light selected, or a lamp, and a camera selected. I'm going to go back and select the cube. If you do, for some reason, try and select something with the left mouse button, which is the incorrect one, but if you do try and select it with this, this is what's going to happen. It's going to move your 3D cursor around the view, as so. That little, this little icon right here. So, the way to avoid that is by using, of course, the right mouse button to select items. To fix this, if that ever does happen to you when you want it at the origin, which is 0 and Y, 0 and X, and 0 and Z, go ahead and select the Shift key and the C key. So hold down Shift, click C, and it'll put it right back in the origin for you. That item, the 3D cursor, will become much more important once you start building items because that'll tell you where the item's going to be built in your 3D space. Moving on. Now, to select and deselect all my objects, so I can show you how to build one, just to give you an introduction, I would hit the A key, which will toggle my selections. So right now, I have one item selected. If I hit the A key, nothing selected. If I hit the A key once again, everything in my scene will be selected. Now what I want to do is empty out the scene of anything so I can show you how to build something very briefly. I'm going to hit the X key, which will then say, would you like to erase selected objects? You'd select OK by just hitting the left mouse button on erase selected objects. Everything's gone. Now remember how I said where this 3D cursor comes into play when you build something? I'll make that very apparent. I'm going to move this over here. Just click with my left mouse button. I'm going to hit the space bar, which is going to bring up a menu, which we'll go over in later detail, later in more detail, for that matter. <laughs> I'll go to Add, Mesh, Monkey. So I have a monkey that I just selected, which was created by where the 3D cursor was. The 3D cursor actually was right in the middle of it. So when I zoom in and press shift 
and move it over just a little bit and zoom in further, you'll see that that little 3D cursor is right in the middle of the monkey. Also, you notice that this object looks different. When we had selected the cube from before, we had a pink box around it, which meant it was selected. Now, we have these little yellow dots that are vertices, and we have the edges that are yellow, and everything's pretty much yellow. What that means is we're in edit mode, meaning we could go in and move vertices around and change the shape of our object. We don't want to do that right now. That's a little bit outside of the scope of this lesson. What I do want to do is show you this item in object mode, which is what it is when it has that pink line all around it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key. So now you can see it's just selected, but I can't change anything of it because it's not in the edit mode. I can move it by selecting these arrows, but that's about all I can do. I'll go ahead and escape so it goes right back to the same spot it was before. Okay, so that was a brief introduction, and thanks a lot.